giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Hey, Lino, you want to take us to our last division? Yeah, let's go Newton. Now, uh, this division, as every year, Newton is really stacked. We got many top teams with big names like 1323, 973, 2910, 1540, 842, 845, 634, 1983, 2073, 4635, and 5312. Notice how the last two robots are actually from Mexico. Um, this division is the division with most uh, Mexican teams, nine of them. So if you're in this division, you probably have to start practicing your Spanish because you're going to be hearing it a lot. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into this crazy division. Starting up, let's talk about, let's start the madness with 1323, Matam Robotics. With a record undefeated at the moment with 31 wins, they are proving themselves to be the favorite, not just to win the division, but the entire event. Now, um, this crazy division is going to be really close competitive. And I'm sure that 1323 can actually say number one like uh, that's gonna be my pick for number one sitting um their swerve drive has been amazing and talking about swerve drives there's another great swerve robot of this division which is 2910 another favorite to win this division and they've been making a name since last year's performance they they did another great um the great robot this year swerving to victory um, they will probably be really early picked. I'm not sure how they're going to sit because they cannot reach the third level of the rocket, but it, maybe with their alliance they can come up with ideas to fill in the rocket. But it's going to be just a real, really strong robot on whatever alliance they end up with. And the other top robot from this division, 973, the Grey Buds. This is a really fast climb. Uh, this is another great robot from the division. Um, the great bots have been ranking really strong in every event they go, and their consistency have brought them to the finals at every event. I think this is gonna be a team looking forward on the top spot, and I'm actually not sure how, between those three, how they're gonna end up on the, on the alliances. Also talking, I wanna give a shout out to 846, the Funky Monkeys. They've been ranking pretty well. Even though they've been falling on playoffs as a finalist and semi-finalist, the Funky Monkeys have shown to be a strong quals robot, but they need to up their playoff game if they want to reach that Einstein field. Also, would like to give a shout out to 5499. Um, they haven't been also ranking the best, but they've been strong during playoffs. Um, I expect them to be picked as a first pick and will adapt to alliance to the alliance they get. Uh, this was already a team that um, teams were looking out at regionals, and I'm sure that this division won't be any different for them. As a dark horse, I have several teams. The first one's going to be 5026, the Mean Mesh. No, I'm sorry, the Iron Panthers, which they have a triple climb. Um, 1526 actually. I think they were able to triple climb once or, or various times at Silicon Valley. And if they get the triple climb going, I'm actually curious how that's going to affect the playoff game. 2471 Mean Machine, um, they're, they're a great robot. I like a lot um, their robot reveal, their elevator, and the whole way their robot works. However, they haven't been able to win a blue banner yet, so maybe you know they, they get into a really good alliance and they do great on this division. And finally, my other pick as a dark horse is going to be 7521. Ultimate Robotics. They come from the South, Texas, and they're amazing. This is a team I've been following all season long, and they're rookies, and honestly, they are rooking it. Uh, a simple hatch grabber of Velcro, and they have been really close to soloing the entire rocket. This team is like the definition of being simple and beautiful. They had some good matches at district championships, um, almost beating the Robo Wranglers without having to double climb. And, well, we can say these rookies are actually having like their ultra, ultra made rookie season so far. Anyone to add up on any teams? There's like a lot of this division. Yeah, there is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do, I want to touch more on uh, 5499, uh, the orangutans. They are, uh, they're a part of a very exclusive club in which uh, they've soloed rockets and they can't pick up cargo from the ground. Um, mm -hmm. So they have to go back to the human load station 12 times if they want to get that rocket. And, you know, they were 254's pick at uh, Silicon Valley, won the event there. They're really good. They know how to drive that robot, um, and they're doing a really, really good job. Um, and then I also want to talk a little bit more about 2073 Eagle Force. Um, you know, another really good um, cargo bot, hatch bot, 
Um, they can get rockets. I believe they've sold a rocket. Um, they they just need a little bit more consistency in their game. Um, but if they get that, then they're going to be at the top of this division. Yeah, I, I'm just uh, just talking about a couple other teams I'm seeing here. We've got 2659 uh, Robo Warriors, another team that's shown consistent improvement across events here, paired up with with uh, 5012 at their most recent event. Um, 3005 historically, the Robo Chargers. I think you, you might have mentioned them in the uh, the the list at the beginning. Yeah. But man, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's it, this division just has a lot of really really strong mid uh, mid to high level teams here. So it's going, it's just going pretty deep. So it'll be, um, you know, pretty competitive. We even mentioned 233, the pink team. They're all the way down here too. Uh, I, I mean, they, you know, there was a day when, you know, pink would, you know, not get picked at their first event and then show up in like seed second on their field. Uh, so it, it, there's, there's just a whole lot of crazy teams here in this division. Yeah, I'm expecting many surprises from this division. Like, um, even like if you go all the way on the how the rankings are going to be predicted, you can see teams that have won events it's like 46, 35. I think to, I, I actually mentioned them. I think and 53, 12, which I think they were finalists in Mexico. But mm-hmm. wow, 53, 12 is really fast at placing hatches. So I'm, I'm looking forward for them, and it's their first time at championships. Um, huge shout out to them because they they've been making good robots and at Mexico, and finally they got their pass this year. Uh, as predictions wise, I do think Matheon is going to rank here as number one, maybe undefeated. Uh, but this division picks go really deep, so uh, I think there's going to be some crazy alliances, seeming like as number three, number four, maybe even like mm. six, seven. So. I'm just really excited to watch this division. Yeah. One, um, te- one team that I want to just talk about a little bit is Team uh, 1540, uh, Flaming Chickens out of PNW, uh, a team that I think has, uh, lack of a better term, flown under the radar uh, quite a bit. Uh, it, out in the semis, uh, you know, both their districts and out in, I believe in the quarters uh, at the uh, PNW district champs, but just a very solid team. They, they just are very consistent. They're not the fastest robot on the field, but – extremely consistent with their scoring, able to just make uh, cycles just one after the other, uh, and a team that I, I think could uh, fall uh, as a uh, mid to late uh, second round pick and could really contribute uh, great to an alliance. Yeah, I just feel this division is going to be the one when we see alliance selection, like there's going to be a team that gets picked and like, how did they fall so far? And they're like in the number one or two alliance, just oh, making this super alliance. I would love to see a Scorched Earth so bad in this division. Yeah. Wouldn't that just be amazing? <laughs> yeah. Also yeah, for this division, I'm curious how much defense is going to be played because I don't think there's going to be much defense, even though we have 1817, which played some amazing defense at Texas. Um, I don't think there's going to be much with the ability of so many robots on doing consistent stuff. So I think there's going to be just some really aggressive alliances and most playoff matches going over 100. Hey, I I would not be surprised if 18, 17 seeds, given given how they played in in Texas. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, there's there's two elite defense bots in my mind right now in the world, like elite, elite, and they're one of them. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if they do super, super well here. I can definitely agree with that. Yep. All right. So awesome. Uh, Lino, uh, one thing I want to ask you is you did say you didn't know if, if 13, 23 seats first, if they pick nine seventy three or 29, 10, if you're in 13, 23 spot, uh, who do you pick? I, I pick Jack in the butt because I think you can still get a robot that can do the rockets as a second pick. I got to disagree with you there. I think they're going to go with nine seventy three. Really? They're good. I think so. Um, they're good, I did, you know. I, they're friends with each other. They have a little bit of that going on, but I, 973 is still no oh, slouch. You can't pull a really friend good. card, man. Come on, it's championships. Yeah, I'm just they're, if all else equal, what are you going? What's that's going to probably put it over? Um, but you know, 973 is at that next level. Um, they can play the rocket really well, um, and they they're just really freaking good this year. Yeah, and, I, and I'm really looking forward for, honestly, for a sort of alliance. So maybe that's why I'm a little bit more biased to 2910 than 973. But I still love 973, and I think um, 
it's just going to be a really good division to watch playoffs. Gotcha. You know, I got to agree with you, man. I, I see them going with 29-10 if they see number one. And, and the main reason is, uh, you know, I, I have to admit from a prediction on my side, originally I did not think that we'd see uh, an alliance win that has a defensive bot. But you look at 29-10, all you do if you're 29-10 is you fill up as much as you can and then you send that robot to go play defense. And you're telling me that a robot that drives that well can't completely shut down another team. And, and not in scoring. Here's where the shutdown tactic comes. It's in climbing. You look at how fast 2910 can climb, and all they have to do is prevent a team from climbing, zip over with about 10 seconds left. And I bet you they can go from one side of the field to the next and triple climb in 10 seconds. And I think that's where they take it, and that's the advantage that 2910 can bring uh, at this event. Yeah, this this, this situation is going to surprise us. I, I'm pretty sure of it. I think one of my uh, bold predictions is uh, 2910 is going to start uh, start having matches where they don't put no hatches on. Um, like just give, cargo, yeah. Just have cargo yeah. there. Get, I, give, they only can score on low levels, so you might as well take advantage of those points where you can. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm I'm closer to Nick here on this. I think that you know th this is this is going to be a different level of play. So um, I think 973 scales a little bit better than this level of play, but I could be very wrong. So we'll see. Chat, we'd love to see what your comments are. If you're uh, 1323, uh, who do you pick as your first pick? Are you picking 2910, 973, or somebody else uh, that you think would be a great alliance partner? And, of course, we're uh, assuming 1323 is going to see first. They've been absolutely dominant all year, and they might not as well, too. But, chat, we'd love to see your uh, opinions on that as well. Uh, so that's going to do it for uh, division overviews. Uh, guys, any last general comments about Houston before we wrap up and head into the FRC Top 25? I just I hope this AB agrees to steps it up. <laughs> I yeah, think this it, is going to be a great event. Honestly, it, like, sorry. <laughs> nah, I, I think uh, I, I think that Houston Alliance beats Detroit Alliance in the finals, but Detroit's going to be more fun to watch because Robot Three is going to be better. And then, lastly, does uh, you know we just talked about uh, the last division here. Uh, out of all the divisions, is Noon the one that's going to emerge as a winner? Will we see the winning alliance come out of Noon, or is there another favorite you guys have? Uh, Nick, let's I start think, with you. I think it's either going to be Carver or Newton. Or, sorry, Carver or Turing, um, which are the only two. You know, Carver with 1678 and their triple climb. Um, and the suction cup alliance that could happen on Turing, I think that that'll be the big difference. Uh, I'll go 1678 and Beach Bots. All right. Lino, how about yourself? I think Newton's going to take it. I think Matt Tone and Jack and Devout are going to win champs, honestly. Uh, Lino, I'm with you on that, man. That's that's what I see. But the, it's going to be fantastic. We can't wait to see uh, Houston uh, going on. Uh, Lino, you're going to be at the Houston Championship, right? Actually, you're already yeah. in Houston right now. Yeah, uh, I'm right now in my Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very cool. Uh, Nick, I can't remember. You You will not be at championships, right? Uh, I'll probably be there on Saturday. At the Houston Championships as well? Yeah. Awesome, Houston. man. Very cool. Can't wait to see you there. Uh, and, Ben, I know you won't be at that one, but you'll be at Detroit, oh. I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I will be uh, at the uh, Houston Championship and Detroit, uh, both myself and Mike Stark. Uh, we'll be around all over doing interviews. Uh, we'll talk about that more in the FRC Top 25. But, gentlemen, want to thank you for coming on, uh, giving some great insight chat. Once again, let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know uh, uh, any teams we might have missed. We'd love to hear it on there as well, too. And thanks to everybody who's watched. Of course, if you want more First Robotics uh, in your life, Hey, just tell people about what's going on here at First Updates now. We'd love to have you on board. If you got the few bucks for uh, bits and subscriptions, which uh, several users have stepped up to do, we are 100% community supported right now. And we'd love to have your support as well, too. So on behalf of myself, Lino, Ben, and Nick, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Good luck to all the teams attending the Houston Championship. FRC Top 25 is coming up next if you're watching live. But otherwise, see you next time on Fun. Talk to you then. Adios, amigos. See ya. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.